it's me june there are a lot of fruits in the garden and the flowers are in full bloom too so join me for another garden tour let's start the garden tour in here uh, we have two trees here this is the um, nectar plum so here's the fruit of the nectar plum they are not ready yet but it has a lot of fruits and then next to it is the donut peach so it is also loaded with fruits like that so this is the donut peach donut peach their fruits ripen before the regular peach so this is the donut peach and then on this side we have this uh, fuyu persimmon this is fuyu persimmon and it has fruits too i think that's a spider So this is for you persimmon and then here we have the squash the first one is the uh, green zucchini so that's ready next to it is the uh, yellow zucchini so that's the yellow zucchini and then the um, body pan or the summer squash I'm going to harvest those later for dinner. So this body pan is very pretty. Look at the shape. I can harvest all like those three. And then next to the squash, we have the corn. So those are the corn, two varieties of corn. And then, so this is um, honey and pearl, and then the other one, those are silver queen. And then down there, we have more eggplant. So there's one fruit here, I'll show you. So that is the fruit. This is. So this is rounded eggplant, Marunasu, from Kyoto, Japan. And then on next, we have the bitter melons. Lots of bitter melons there. And then next to the bitter melon, we have the asparagus. These are the asparagus more asparagus on the side and we have like I think these are like onion red onion okay, on the other side we have the trees back walk back walk back walk back so this is Eureka lemon So we have Eureka lemon and then the um, Asian pear. This is Asian pear. This is Shinjiki pear. And next to the pear, we have the apricot. This is the apricot tree, which is growing pretty tall now. And then here we have eggplant. Oh no, sorry, this is bell pepper. <laughs> so this is the red bell pepper. I need to water them. And this is the green bell pepper. Next to the apricot is the um, another pear tree. This is um, red barn. So here is the fruit. 
more fruits down here more fruits on the other side more fruits here they are not ready yet they'll be ready in a couple of months and then down here we have the pretty lavender look at this lavender I'm going to harvest them soon look at this very pretty so here are the um, fruits of the red baron peach tree so the donut peach the fruits are ready while this one we have to wait a couple more months so here is the um, bitter melon and then this side we have sunflowers three sunflowers and then here we have another eureka lemon tree this is very prolific so that one is ready and then on this side we have the cucumbers put there this is persian cucumber Here we have the raspberry and a boysenberry. So um, the raspberries and then boysenberry on this side. One second. <laughs> then let's check if there are fruits that are ready. So raspberry again here. Here is the raspberry. And this is a pear tree so here is the fruit so these trees have beautiful blooms uh, in springtime like the uh, peach the peach trees and then the nectarine the nectar plum and then the the plum tree so this is the peach tree and then moving on to the other side here we have the uh, blueberry bush and then uh, this is an apple tree this is an apple and the fruits are starting to turn like red like this one more there more fruits here it's loaded with fruits <laughs> so this is well, look at that so this is the Anna apple this is the apple variety that thrives very well here in Los Angeles and then down here we have the uh, strawberries and then here one strawberry is ready so this is the uh, strawberry there are two strawberries here and like one more over there so these are the so there's one on that side too and then on this like four by eight box we have the uh, swiss chard it is bolting but like it's still okay to use and then we have peppers, shishito peppers and fushimi and then we have the tomatoes so I'll show you the varieties so this is green zebra one of our favorites so this is ready it stays green this is the green zebra and then more fruits here I need to prune the leaves and then here we have the um, chica cherry this is a very prolific tomato plant it has a lot of fruits look it is loaded with fruits down here too And 
this one is iron lady so all our tomatoes are indeterminate meaning they could go very tall but this is the only one that is determinate so this is iron lady look at those fruits that almost touch the ground so this is iron lady on this side we have four tomatoes The first one is uh, Genovese. So this is Genovese. Look at the fruits. Still green. And next to it is the Super Fantastic. Look at that. It's so big. Look at this fruit. It's very big. This one, there's more fruit here. Next to it is the uh, Snow White Ivory, my favorite. Look at those, look at that fruit. This is Snow White Ivory, one more over there too. And more up there. See, see all those fruits? Tomato season is very exciting. Uh, because we plant different varieties different colors different tastes. So it's very exciting how each one of them turns out And next is the um, This is Super sweet 100 This is also a very prolific variety This is the lily here the super sweet 100 here we have three more tomatoes this is large barred boar it's very tall now probably like six feet tall um, I need to prune this I really need to prune the leaves and then this one is the um, Isis candy a lot of cherry varieties and then this one is the jam plum so this is the jam plum this is uh, that a tomato from France and then we have the uh, variegated sorrel there and then more Swiss chard and then those are purple sprouting broccoli on to the here we have another blueberry bush and then um, it's just it just finished fruiting and then next to it we have the uh, calamondine or calamansi so this is the uh, calamondine tree look at the tomato it's as tall as the calamondine tree here is the fig tree that's a fig tree it's it is very prolific too every year it gives us tons of fruits so figs are very very like versatile you can eat them fresh you can uh, bake them, you can cook them, so it could be sweet or savory. So those are the figs. And it gives a very nice shade. See, down here is where we picnic, under the fig tree. See, it is very shaded. So even um, even during hot summer, this like place is still like you know nice to. It's still nice to picnic on this path. Like see, here's the uh, view from like when we're having a picnic down here under our fig tree. So moving on. 
to the this side we have strawberries here and then here are the raspberries and boysenberry over there on this box we have the uh, this is the uh, bull's blood uh, beads these are beads and then we have okra there red and green okra and then we have tomatoes here more tomatoes on this side so this is sun gold this is sun gold oops this one is ready sun gold and then here we have the uh, Napa Chardonnay. And then on that side we have the Early Girl. And that's our grapevine. So here we have the. Um, this one we need to. We planted some. Here we have planted some uh, peppers. We need to remove the lettuces. And then we have the uh, purple kale. And then the grapes. And then this, the blueberry bush, O'Neill and South Moon. Still have fruits. So this is the um, blueberry bush. ready and then basil here and um, pansies I like to decorate the salad with uh, these beautiful flowers they are very pretty right this is like onion flower so the pansies this is shiso plant. This is from the mint family and uh, they are very good when used as a uh, meat trap, like you use it to wrap meat or fish. And here we have the uh, watermelon. This is Joshua's favorite. This is uh, sugar baby. Oops going to the other side to the fence now I need to there's a lot of flowers oh back here where is it coming from oh. it's like one second move back to the trellis there you go so the tiny watermelon so here we have chamomile this is chamomile we have kumquat here another joshua's favorite this is very sour so you have to eat this so the rind is sweet the inside is sour so you have to eat them both to balance off the sourness so this is kumquat so that one the yellow one or the orange one is ready and there are tiny ones they are very prolific too they just keep on giving fruits and then here we have the uh, the pink oh like the peppermint chard peppermint chard and then the uh, fennel this is um, satsuma mandarin that one is a uh, french sorrel have more watermelon here these are crimson sweet another watermelon and this is calabacita and this is tuscan kale almost about to bolt and next to it is the uh, yuzu lemon this is yuzu lemon and then 
This is broccoli that we need to uproot. This is Valencia orange. And then we have another, um, like over there we have the grapevine, perlet grapes, so it's green. See the fruits? So that's perlet grapes. Here we have um, the blueberry grapes. So the color, so look at the blueberry grapes. Very pretty, right? Oh, maybe something is eating them. Maybe the birds are eating them. I need to pick this later. So look at this blueberry grapes. And then more here. I think this is super ready. And then there. And more up here. And this one too. These are the blueberry grapes. And this is the six citrus. It has like six different uh, citrus varieties. So there's lime, lemon, and orange, different varieties. And then this is lemon verbena. This is my favorite herb. This smells so good. Oh my, it's so good. This one is um, nasturtium. This one is a volunteer plant. I don't know what it is. So I probably need to uproot it. Behind the uh, lemon verbena, we have the laurel plant. This is the laurel plant. And then underneath, we have the uh, splenda. This is splenda, like the sweetener. So instead of using sugar, you can like just pick the leaves. I can, I can make another video about this one. Just pick the leaves and then I put it in your tea and it will be sweet. I haven't tried it with coffee. Maybe I'll try with it with coffee so I don't need to use sugar anymore. There's another herb there. I can't remember what, what it is. And then we have the rosemary. And then this is the uh, parsley that has bolted. This one is a um, nectarine. So this is a nectarine tree. The one on the other side is a nectar plum. So it's a... Uh, it's a cross between nectarine and plum. This one is nectarine. And then we have plum on the other side. There are two fruits that I picked already. I can show it too. I can show a clip later. So this is the plum tree. This like trees, this stone fruits, the stone fruit trees, they, um, they are very, very pretty during springtime with like pretty blooms so moving on so that's the rosemary and then we have fennel there that we need to trim and then this is sage so that is a plum tree and then we have mint here mint and thyme here we have the marjoram and um marjoram and oregano and then here, oh, that is a fennel. And then here we have artichoke. This is artichoke that has bolted. So, very pretty artichoke. The bees and then the, uh, the hummingbirds love this plant, these flowers. Again, here is the nectarine tree. Pretty, right? Here is the calamondine. This is variegated calamondine. Look at the fruits. There's more there. And there are more here too. And then more down here. So like this. And there. I think there is a, like an airplane show or something. Uh, there. That's 
check. Look how loaded this nectarine tree is. Loaded with fruits. If you are from in this area, I hope you got an idea of what which plants thrive very well around this time of the year. And uh, I hope I inspired you to uh, plant more edibles. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button and um, subscribe. And we hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.